beautiful beans. You're just enjoying some nice sunshine. There's very few people I refer to as nice. I say they're kind, okay? Because kind to me is character. Mm, right? Okay. And the other one is, is a behavior. It's mm -hmm. like, you can behave nicely, but you are kind. Whatever was the adjective in my brain. Greetings, loved ones, and welcome back to another vlog. My last vlog was when I was home in Georgia, and then I've been home for about a week and a half or something like that. And honestly, the only urge I've gotten to film is to film vlogs. I love vlogs, especially in the summertime. I feel like there's just more going on to show, you know? So I'm back, baby. And I've just been going about my morning routine this morning. I had some coffee, I ate a bagel, and that was a little while ago. And then I was just doing a little bit of computer and wedding work. I've been planning my wedding and trying to figure out some helpful resources to use along the way. And um, I've just been researching like if I wanna get a partial planner or if I wanna get a full planner or if I even need a full planner, but I'm planning a wedding across the country. So it's not like I live there to be facilitating every vendor and meeting with them and all that stuff. So anyways, I've been dealing with a lot of that stuff this morning, just trying to like sort out costs and whatnot. But now I need to work out. I say need because I've just been feeling like I need it so bad. For those of you who saw this on my Instagram story, sorry for the dramatic retelling, but um, about a week ago, I fell off of my front porch. It sounds funny when I retell it, but honestly, like it was so painful. And it was also really scary in the moment because um, basically my dogs were both outside sunning themselves on the front porch. I thought that they were fine. I was reading on the couch downstairs and I heard just like the most unreal whining noises, just a huge freak out from Rue, who I thought was the one who was crying, but now I'm kind of unsure. I'm like, maybe it was a small coyote who was making these whining noises. It was like nothing I had ever heard before. Rue's pulling the door open, by the way, if you can see that. Anyways, um, I shot off the couch and I ran so fast off the front porch that I flew down the concrete stairs, skinned both of my knees, and then I fell on my left butt cheek, kind of. It's more like my upper thigh, and I have a gnarly bruise. My hand wound is almost completely healed, and my foot wounds are healing pretty good, but those were all scuffed up too, and um, I just continued to sprint. I was in full mommy mode. I was like, oh my god, something has taken Rue. That's really what I thought. I thought that she had been abducted and taken by a hawk or an owl or something and like flown into a tree somewhere and I literally thought she was gone. And then we were running around the property like chickens with our heads cut off, and Lee and I both, because he was like, what even happened? Like he didn't hear it because he had headphones on and he was doing coursework on the computer. And then he just saw me sprint off the couch and like followed me outside. And so I was just hysterical being like, she's been taken, she's been attacked, like screaming all of these things. And then he went around the other side of our house and he found her on the back porch and she was panting from running so hard, but she didn't have any scratches on her and she didn't really seem all shook up. Like I was the only one who was pretty much all shook up. And then once the shock wore off that she was okay and she wasn't taken and all these things, then all the pain of my wound set in and I've been healing for about a week. So that's a very long story to say. The reason I haven't been working out is because I my knees hurt so bad and my butt hurt so bad. But I'm just gonna show you the state of my wounds today. So my knees are healing pretty well but this is the real doozy right here. Um, I just need the bruise to go away. So I'm gonna be taking it sleazy on my mat today. I don't know even what workout I'm gonna do. I honestly feel like I should just do arms so that I don't have to do any like squatting because it still even hurts me to be in my garden weeding on my knees or harvesting on my knees. Like anything with the knees is a no from me. So today I want to go easy on myself. I feel like I need to just do some like weight lifting and some general moving of my limbs. But anyways, welcome to another vlog. I think I'm gonna vlog for like a couple days or something, or maybe do like a week in my life. Like I really don't know, but I'm here for you. I'm going camping this weekend. So just figured I would show you everything until then. You know what I mean? <laughs> So let's get into it. I use the sweat app, by the way, most of you know this, but this is her. And I'm in the Power at Home 2.0 program right now. Okay, I'm gonna do back and shoulders today because 
this pretty much excludes most burpee type workouts out of this. I just need a low intensity, get your head back in the game workout program today. And what's really great about Sweat is that they actually just did a new update where, this isn't sponsored by the way, I've just been using them for over a year and I love them. But they just added this new feature where you can basically like sub out your workouts for other exercises and sub it out for like, oh, I don't have that equipment, generate another exercise for me that I could actually do with what I have. So that's definitely really helpful and I'll be using that today. Normally I would do a dance workout for about three to five minutes, but I think I'm just gonna do stretches today that don't hurt me because I don't wanna go too hard for my butt. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna go stretch now. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm in the bath now, just hanging out. I'm taking an Epsom salt bath because, well, honey, I need it. And I really took it easy with my workout today. Normally I do multiple laps of those exercises that I did, but I was like, one lap is fine. Okay, I'm still recovering. And I noticed during my workout that my foot is actually still pretty bruised. I shouldn't be doing this pose, that was a really bad idea. And so that's why I've been limping, but I'm hoping that I'll just stop limping in the next few days as it kind of heals and stops swelling as much. And I've been using like an herbal soap on my wounds and then using like a first aid spray and like dressing my wounds and changing the dressing and all that kind of stuff. So I'm being good about it, okay? And this is my second Epsom salt bath in the past week since, you know, falling and stuff. And it's just been nice. And baths are my safe haven. They're my everything, truly. They help me so much. But I wanted to just like talk about this for a second because I'm sure a lot of you can relate. But sometimes when you get injured, I feel like it's your body telling you to slow it down. It's like, please just give yourself a second. Like you don't need to get back into things so quickly. Like give your body time to heal. And I don't know, you know, where this stems from. Maybe a convo I need to have with my therapist. But I feel like so uncomfortable in those times where I'm like, you want me to just rest? What else am I supposed to be doing? Like, I'm so annoyed, honestly, that it hurts me to be in the garden on my hands and knees weeding. Like, I want to do that stuff so bad and harvesting and all of the things and I wanna be able to do lawn work and take care of things. But aside from that, I wanna be able to go back to the bouldering gym because I haven't even shared this in a vlog yet. I'll definitely vlog there when I'm like healed and ready to go. But um, we've been going to a bouldering gym with our friends, Maddie and Adam, and they're the ones who like introduced us to bouldering and rock climbing and stuff. And Finley's been going on his own while I've been streaming some nights. And it's so cute. I'm so happy he has like a fun workout to do. And he's honestly getting jacked. Like it's crazy how much it works your upper body. I told him, I was like, I'm gonna be ripped like Hulk Hogan for our wedding, okay? Next year, they're gonna need to let out the seams in my shoulders of my dress because I'm gonna be like Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> walking down the aisle. <laughs> but really, I'm focusing on just like carving out my back kind of and getting more muscular and stuff and it's just so nice to get stronger and like realizing you're getting stronger. Anyways, I'm on a tangent here, but peace, love, bouldering, that's what I say. So it's been really nice to go to the climbing gym and I'm just annoyed at myself that I got hurt like in the days before I was going to get back into it since coming back from vacation. But again, I'm just like, I guess I just need a break. And I honestly feel like while it was nice to return to working out today, it did hurt and I had to do a lot of substitutions for exercises 
and I'm like, girl, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Like, I don't feel like I re-injured myself, but I definitely think that my body just needs more rest now, so that's what I'm doing now in the bath. Anyways, I am going to just lay here for a little bit, wash my hair, all the things, and then do all my first aid stuff when I get out, which I'll probably show you honestly, because some of it is like herbal remedies that I've made and they've been helping so much. So just stay freaking tuned. I feel like I've talked about this other places, but I'm currently in school for herbalism at the Herbal Academy. So I've been just using all of my knowledge for salves and topicals and things like that. So it's been really fun. Anyways, let me take this bath now, y'all. All right, besties, I'm out of the bath. And my mom actually put me on to the old Arnica back in the day. And um, this is just great for bruising, swelling, sore muscles, all of the things. This is an Arnica gel. Well, it's called Arnicare, but Arnica is a plant. And honestly, I had some Arnica seeds back in the day, but I have no idea where they went. But I only put a little dollop of this onto my bruise because it has alcohol in it and it stings my wounds so bad. And I already made the mistake once, so I just used this on my butt bruise. But as for my wounds, what I use is actually this herbal salve that I've been making since literally 2015. And it's just a healing salve with like calendula and beeswax and oil. And honestly, I made an entire video on how to make this back in the day before I even like really got into herbal remedies. And this has been saving my ass. I put this on all of my like more open wounds and it just is super soothing and great. Calendula is great for skin related relief. Like if you have um, open wounds or sores or eczema or anything like that, you can put it on there. So I use this mainly on my knees and on my most open wound, which is on my foot. And I don't know who cares about first aid stuff, but honestly, it interests me. I would low-key want to take like a wilderness medicine course just in case I fall in the woods or my children do in the future or something just so I can be like, mom can help you. <laughs> also this salve I used to use on my acne scarring on my face. So if you struggle with that, this is a great recipe. I'll link it down below. I showed this very, very briefly on Instagram, but I recently redid the art on this wall. I just took some things out that I didn't want up there anymore and basically just framed some new stuff. This print as well as this print are from my friend Alice at Hello Alice. And this was sent to my PO box. Somebody said that they had it for a really long time and it reminded me of them. And I think it's so freaking cute. And then a lot of this is like old art that I've had for years. And that was what was up on here for a while. This is a little portrait of me by Lauren Squires. I'll link her at on the screen. And then this is by Marisol Miro, I believe is her at, but she has a little shop. Anyways. <laughs> That's the haps. And then Bernard is just sitting pretty there as he always does next to our game table. But also I switched out these. My friend Shay made this and gave it to me for my birthday and that we've had for forever as well as this art. Actually, no, my friend Chris made this for me for my birthday as well. But this, lo and behold, is my new baby. This is my music wall. I still can't decide if I wanna move Erica Badu down here or like move some things around because I feel like it's kind of random that I left it over there but I added a bunch of other musicians onto the music wall and it looks so fantastic I'm obsessed with it and then I made the guest bed just kind of like a day bed style with the pillows and whatnot but um, I don't focus too much on the bedding in here and, and try to make it just everything that it needs to be and more because I'm like, honestly, my dogs come in here and sleep on this bed most of the time. And when my friends come over, they're like, you know, drunk and staying the night. So it's not like they're sitting here the whole time being like, your pillows don't match the colors of your comforter, you know? So I just think it looks cute how it is right now. And my office has come together beautifully, my darlings. And um, I just finished that whole watermelon, so I'm gonna go and feed it to the pigs and cut it in half. It's watermelon season, baby. Uh, peach. Oh my gosh. I. Whoa! You fell! Come out here! I honestly look way too cute right now to 
have my outfit be ruined by a muddy snoot, so I'm just gonna let them have at it. Yeah, that's your favorite, right? <laughs> Tucky's obsessed with watermelon. Delicious pizza crusts. Yeah, Dad threw those in last minute for you. Pretty nice. Oh, you don't want, you don't want any more watermelon? <laughs> Peach's snoot is so freaking muddy right now. I'm scared of you. Oh, Rue is too. She's like, what the hell? My dress is from my friend Annalie. I hung out with them a couple days ago and they gave me this dress because they said that they didn't want to wear it anymore and I was like, hell yes. So very funky and fun and cute. I'm still trying to figure out the bra situation with this. It's still really up in the air, but I came out here to feed the hogs. So I'm gonna give them some dry food as well, um, aside from these treats, but I'm gonna do it before somebody comes over and attacks me with a wet snoot. The hog fuel that Finley laid down in here is looking so nice. They sleep here in the summertime. They don't sleep inside the house. I think sometimes they go in there for fun, but it really depends. You have a piece of watermelon hanging out of the side of your mouth. You might as well finish that before you get into the rest of the other food, Peach. Oh my God. That's a really good snack. It's okay, Ducky, I'll put down more. Hey, hey, hey. I know, she's a big bully. Okay, I'm doing two scoops of that today since we got other snacks, not three. Okay, girls. Stay cool, okay? It's actually not too hot out today. It's probably in the 70s. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a garden tour because why the hell not? I was gonna wait till it was cooler in the day to come out here. Um, but my garlic is ready. You can tell it's ready to be harvested because it has these scapes on it. So a couple of my garlic in this bed are ready, not all of them though. And then I have some potatoes down the middle and actually I think a gopher or a mole ate these three potato plants over here because they look horrible. And that happened when we were out of town. But um, yeah, we have some garlic ready to harvest over here, which I'm excited about, as well as these fava beans are getting bigger. I planted these later than the ones in the big bed, so we have those. And then some peas as well. Our artichoke plant is doing insane this year. It's literally producing like eight artichokes a week. It's really crazy. And now we have the real fucking deal loves. Um, I have so many big bushy tomatoes, so much calendula coming in. I wait to harvest it until the end of the day because harvesting right now in the middle of the day just gets me so sunburnt and it's no fun. Got lots of sweet potatoes. I have some cilantro that's actually going to seed, but I like when it goes to seed because you can harvest those and that's coriander seed or you can just leave them and it will replant next year and that's what this and this did, but as you can see, it's forming these little tiny seeds up here. But anyways, we have lots of peas, we have lots of sweet potatoes, fava beans. Um, I think all of this is what, cauliflower? Yeah, cauliflower. Normally I don't keep markers in here, but we did that this year. My fava beans are starting to produce these really big seed pods, which I'm excited about, but they're getting so tall that they're like falling over, which don't really know what to do about that, so let me know if you know. This is just weeds, burdock root. But we also have some potatoes in here, some peas, delicious kale, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning kale. Uh, it looks as though somebody has been eating it. I think a rabbit or a deer has come to take some samples. Um, I think most of you know this if you you know, stay up to date with news. But when we were out of town on the East Coast, honestly think fuck we weren't here because I don't do well in the heat, brothers. I, I really don't. But anyways, um, the PNW had like a really nasty heat wave a couple weeks ago in June and it got up to 115 degrees. And some of my fava beans, not all of them, surprisingly, some of them just fried though, literally blackened and charred. <laughs> so that's pretty crazy, but everything else did really well. So I'm happy about that have this beautiful calendula to harvest later. Oh God, this literally makes me so happy and emotional to look at, like, oh my God. So many of these came back from last year too, which is incredible. And oh my God, my first tomato to harvest of the season. Incredible. We have a sweet million. First taste test. Let's see how it is. Mm, mm-hmm. Wow, I missed homegrown tomatoes. 
so much. So the last time I was out here showing you guys what's the haps with the garden and everything like that, I was laying down all of this hay onto the top of the garden as cover. And when I did that, I forgot that we, you know, feed the hogs a bunch of sunflower seeds every day. So, so many sunflowers planted themselves as volunteers, which is fantastic. We also have a lot of our Brocco flowers starting to come in over here and starting to form little buds on the center. We have some delicious cauliflower coming in. I actually didn't know that these guys were producing yet, so I'm very happy about that. More fava beans. We have some wonderful, wonderful squash blossoms coming in that you can stuff with cheese and make, and I always get so many recommendations to do that for recipes because they're so delicious stuffed and fried in oil like that. We're also getting a lot of bushing out of the tomatoes up here, some really growing squash plants around here, um, some volunteer daisies, which are always fun, some beautiful broccoli. I can't wait for my broccoli to all come in. A lot of this is Brussels sprouts too, I think. And then we have a celery that's coming in over here, which I'm really excited about because I love eating sourdough bread with avocado and sliced celery on top with salt and pepper. Mm, don't knock it till you try it, brothers. It's delicious. But we also have some more. These are all actually butternuts. So they're gonna climb probably all the way to the old greenhouse bed which again is insane. Sorry if you can hear the wind. But over this year, I'm just keeping these onions who are all going to flower and seed. And then I have this big rhubarb plant that's still doing pretty good. But um, those get really big and bushy. They can survive a lot. But yeah, so much calendula freaking everywhere. We have a lot, a lot of various brassicas this year from broccoli to cauliflower to brocco flower, which is like a mesh between the two, hence the name. And then some Brussels sprouts. And I don't think we did cabbage this year. I just grew way too much of it last year and I didn't know how to use it all. But this actually is one of my favorite sections of the garden this year. It's surrounded by all of this beautiful calendula, which I was literally out here harvesting last night. And there's already more to harvest this morning. I'm telling you. I harvest bucket loads of the calendula every single day. We have some tomatoes coming up back here just randomly that are volunteers from last year. But we have this beautiful, I think that this might be a pumpkin plant, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure about that, but um, I guess we'll see. We also have some mustard seeds, some mustard greens and mustard seed that um, is coming up from last year that kind of like bolted and then fell over down here. But the bees love it, so I let the pollinators just have at that. But the reason I say this is my favorite part of the garden is because I brought over this trellis, which was leaning up the, the side of our house for as long as we've lived here. And I brought the trellis over and I started draping my pickling cucumbers up there so they can start growing up the trellis. And I'm so excited to see how that turns out. I think this is a pickling cucumber too, is trying to climb into this and arch up it. The cucumbers really love to climb. It's crazy. But anyways, this is a beautiful purple broccoli. I think it was a jacaranda or something color, but I actually need to clip this and eat it because it's just going to get pretty bolted where it is. But this is my first year growing a successful, glorious corn and I'm obsessed with her work. Can't stop staring at her every time I come out here. It's just so fucking healthy. Like it's blowing my mind. And then I have this gorgeous tomato plant here too. All just the beautiful calendula is making me so happy. <laughs> oh my God, I found a hot sausage baking in the sunshine. What are you doing? <laughs> Are you so hot? You're looking for shade. Hey, Larry, don't drink the rainwater off the tarp. That's really gross. Really not good. There's plenty of water in the house, buddy, okay? Let's go get that. Come on. Yeah, I know we need to weed whack, be sure. Don't remind me. But really, there's a lot to get done this week. And Finley and I were talking about just tackling all of that. Also, we have a bunch of volunteer dill from past seasons in here. So if any of my friends need some dill, Hit me up, brothers. I got a lot. And some nice red clover to harvest, actually, for tea. I might just grab these now. The birds are so lovely right now. Honestly, while I'm out here, let me take you to the front garden as well. The lawn's starting to die, so you know that summer's coming in hot this year, y'all. It's only the beginning of July, and it's already like this, so imagine how dead it will be in frickin' September. I still have some roses holding on by a thread, as well as some lone 
hydrangeas, which are starting to die back. I honestly was out of town for their main season, which I'm a little upset about. And these blackberries are trying to eat this bush. I need to do a lot of just like pruning and landscaping around this area, which I was talking about right before we left town, but I could not get everything done in time. I mean, it's always a little overwhelming, brothers. There's always so much to get done on the freaking farm. But this all being said, let me show you the lovely season that we're in right now. It's cherry season, y'all. Yes. I thought that both of our cherry trees were lost in the power outage that we experienced in February because this one did fall over. But actually, now that I'm looking at it, something might be producing around it. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it fell over. Oh my God, it still has cherries on it. Can you guys see those? Look, she survived, even though she fell over and snapped in so many locations. <laughs> she's still producing, look at that, that was the big split. Anyways, I'm very happy about the cherry season, it's always fun, and the blackberries are starting to ripen under here as well, which is the only thing they're good for, brothers. Just kidding, blackberries, I take back my bully talk to you. You're good for a lot of things. Blackberry leaf is fantastic for teas, but other than that, they are really, really hard to prune back. But anyways, I leave a lot of these lower hanging berries down here for the animals that come by, but this one is good enough to go for me, so cheers. It looks like the birds have been <laughs> ripping off a lot of these cherries because look how many of them have been destemmed. but normally they're like hanging all over the yard but I don't find any of them, so it looks like the birds have been taking all the snacks this year. That's okay. I don't eat them all the time anyways. Look at this lovely foxglove. Very poisonous, but very beautiful. <laughs> Just to eat, I mean. Like, you wouldn't want to harvest this and use it at all. But it is very beautiful, and I love seeing them on trails. And this one actually is new this year in the brush next to our house. Oh, also I forgot to talk about this earlier, but look at all of the pollinators on my borage. I'm so happy I planted these lovely blue star flowers this year. They're really getting a lot of love from the bees, which I'm so happy about. And a lot of my oregano too is going to flower right now, so I need to just like cut it back and harvest it. Same with my lemon balm, which is insane. But yeah, my sage is going crazy as always too. And my parsley, so lovely. NM, you, what's going on? JC. JC, JC. H -H <laughs> H HBU or HBY? Either one. <laughs> I'm just notes. chilling, you know. Uh oh. This is always like every day in the sun it picks itself up, isn't that weird? Yeah, it climbs towards it almost. Yeah, because it's usually hanging down like this. Maybe. Yeah, when it gets darker out. It's incredible. You got your work clothes on, where are you going? I'm just gonna change the wheel. Oh, hell yeah. Honestly, I'm tempted to get a lesson in that. Am I allowed to come? You're welcome to join. Okay, I might go change out of my pretty little dress. There's been so many butterflies, I don't know if you guys can see that one. Yeah. A beautiful, I think this is a monarch, I'm not 100% sure. Butterfly lovers don't yell at me if I'm wrong, but we have this butterfly bush lilac that uh, was planted here for our landlady for Mother's Day, I think. It was like a gift to her, and it's been thriving ever since it got really pruned back. It's very tall right now <laughs> and needs a little pruning, but I'm not going to prune it right freaking now. The butterflies are loving it, and I love butterflies. Got a new outfit on. Who wants to step to me? Wearing my big sun hat so I don't get sunburned well. Finley gives me a lesson in oil changing. <laughs> I want to learn because I want to boycott Jiffy Lube for the rest of my life. I'm ready when you are, brother. Once you get it going, it's no problem, but then right at the end, the oil starts to leak out, but you still need to take it all the way off. So it's kind of funny. A little messy. Yeah. I hope this is aimed right. <laughs> Hit pretty hard there. Mm -hmm. That's some pretty nasty fucking oil. Damn. Yeah, we went a little too long this time. Beautiful and regal, Larry. My camera is doing a weird zoom in thing again. I don't know why. Are you eating that dead bug I found in the yard earlier? Guys, Rue turns two years old tomorrow. 
can't believe it. I keep asking, what do you want to do for your birthday? But she doesn't respond. So, is this your response? You just want to eat stuff in the yard? Horrible idea for celebration. One of her worst. Use your muscle, carve it up, work it, hustle. I've got it, just get close enough to get it. Don't slow. Something, something in the feeling with your macho and your paco. Just dance, gonna be okay. Dadam doodle, just dance. Oh, my water's a boiling. Chopping a little delicious fresh basil from my indoor garden. And I'm going to make a little sun dried tomato and parmesan carbonara. But this cookbook, I actually rarely cook in this, but it's like this big ass vegetarian cookbook that I got from a bookstore for I think like 99 cents or maybe even less. So that's what I'm making for dinner tonight. And Finley and I also just streamed on Twitch, but I forgot to freaking show it. It's horrible. Sometimes I just do that, you know? Like if I got too many screens going, my mom just gets all crazy and I just, you know, I sesh and then I forget. That's actually the thing too, so. Anyways, we played Mario Kart online with a bunch of people and it was so much fun. So it was a nice dual stream, which I'll link below the VOD if you guys are ever curious. Okay, back to my dinner. My water's really boiling now. Well, y'all, it's that time of night again. Bone apple tit. This was a really simple recipe. I'm very excited to try it. And we are going to go and finish watching No Country for Old Men, which we started last night. Pretty good so far. Birthday girls at the river. Can't believe you're two years old today, Rue. This is your baptism. <laughs> Rue actually really does like the water these days. Look at her, she, her tail's still wagging. Just trying to get her footing. <laughs> Good girl. Did you like your dip? Good boy, Larry. Larry doesn't really like the water as much as Rue likes it, but he likes to be cooled off. Whoa, 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 don't lose your ass now. Good girl, good swimming, Rue. <laughs> we are at Wagon Wheel Park in Malala. It's just a place off of the uh, Malala River. And we found, well, Finley found this really secluded spot through some brush back here, but it's more popular. It's kind of like right off. I forget what this highway is called, but it's right off that road. I'll put it on the screen just in case y'all ever want to come here. It's a very nice spot. And we're just enjoying the day, right, Larry? I'll get your water bowl out for you in one second. POV, you get to the water for the day. Maybe the beach or the river or the lake. And your kid's screaming at you to let them into the water, but you gotta finish their sunscreen first and then they run off looking like this. <laughs> I guess it actually doesn't know it's pretty bad. Show me one of those real deals. Yeah. Skippers, big dipper. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Terrible. Mine won. Baby, I was trying to get a quaint shot. <laughs> That's pretty quaint. You love to get your pasty cheeks up yeah. for me. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my lake day. Look at my little garbanzo bean. I love garbanzos. Hey, Rue, do you want to say anything for your special day? <laughs> Let's get a nice zoom in of you. Come on. Hey, Rue, give me a looker over here. Rue. Rue. You're a real stunner, Bisher. You're a real freaking stunner. She's hunting for the next rock for you to skip. Ooh, yeah. How you like that? I loved it. Oh, little overshot there. Total overshot. Closer. How is it? It's honestly really good. But it's because I was laying all the way in the sun. Okay, Rue, we've come to your favorite store. You can go and pick out anything you want. <laughs> Let's go see. Oh, she kind of likes that. About a little bit, one more your size, Rue. Mm. I think she just likes the smell. <laughs> this one. This little. This For a little baby? Boy. She's not sure. I think she should get this. You already have so many pigs, why not just get this one? This is what Larry got for his birthday. Isn't it like a two foot long or is it three feet? Look at this little 
last glimpse of the sunset over here between the trees. Beautiful. Larry just came out here to join me and Rue. Rue's been helping me for a while, actually. What is that that you found? Hey, hey, hey. Tiny pots. Leave it. Larry is very excited to help me with some harvesting of um, a bunch of stuff in the garden. I already brought in a full basket and a big bowl, and then I brought out this second big bowl. So I'm just harvesting away and listening to my 2021 playlist. Oh, that's a better view of the sunset. Oh no, I woke the pigs up. Sorry girls, just go back to bed. All right, this is everything that I got from the garden tonight. I got pretty much the last of the artichokes, I feel like. I don't know if it'll produce more. Normally it's kind of done by the end of July at least. And then I pulled our first broccoli, our purple broccoli, because I noticed it kind of getting a little too tall. It's more of like a broccolini <laughs> at this point. So I wanted to pull it before it bolts more. And then I got two big, big things of calendula. <coughs> you all right in there, Bo Johnson? I love watching the butterflies. Greetings, village idiots. <laughs> That's my new favorite phrase. Rue, I'm talking to myself. Can't you tell? I love to call people village idiots just because it's just funny to think of yourself as the village idiot TM. Damn it, I missed. Even with the funnel, I missed. How the hell is it going, y'all? I'm making a big thing. Oh, Lord almighty. I'm making a big old thing of lemon balm tea to cool for hot days in the summertime. It's basically sitting in this giant sunflower pitcher. <laughs> I made a TikTok on how to make this, so that was my last time I ever was on TikTok. It was months ago, but maybe I'll make a comeback this summer, who knows? But I'm gonna let that bad boy cool back there and then strain the rest of this mixture for another vessel. But it's always nice for me to have some kind of a random cool beverage during the days. By the way, it's most definitely the next day now. I've just been continuing this vlog as it seems fitting, you know? But today I was doing mostly computer work. I was honestly editing this vlog for a lot of today. Whoa, I made this big thing, a lemon balm tea. I ate a delicious bagel. I read a ton of my book. I scheduled a bunch of calls for work and for wedding stuff. And then I streamed on Twitch and I just hung the hell out. And now Finley is climbing and I'm um, straining my mixture. I'm doing my witch shit in the kitchen again. Oh no, not this again. She's back with the giant colander. Speaking of a giant colander, this one really needs to be sent through a second colander. All right, that's my second jar. See, this is how much tea one can make. Another jar and then I'll have to get one more jar. Also, look at this delicious bread loaf that we've started picking up from our local bakery. It's gonna get a little stale if I leave it out for too long, but I was trying to defrost it, it was frozen. What am I doing, what am I doing? Oh, jar. Anyways, y'all, when I was editing this vlog, I realized how fucking long it is, loves. I really just have such an issue with making short videos. Like, I was trying to find out when the last time I even made a video under 20 minutes long was, and it's been months, my dudes. So I do intend on making like a shorter fashion video sometime soon, like playing dress up or something fun like that. But um, I, this is just an annoying thing for me to say, I feel like, but I don't wanna film that video until my body is healed so that you can't see my cut scrapes and bruises in all of my clothing. That's just a, just a little side note, but you know, I do wanna make more fashion content. I feel like it's been a while and I've been leaning heavily on my vlogs, leaning heavily on the farm content, but um, always comment down below what you guys wanna see on here because I do love to hear what people who watch me on YouTube love to see the most. I know y'all love the vlogs, I know y'all love the farm stuff, but I'm like, is there any other thing that you miss from me? Like I haven't uploaded and I love this stuff video in months, my dudes. I need to do another one, truly. But let me know if there is a series or something that you miss or what you would like to see in the vlogs in the future. Somebody told me on Twitch tonight, they were like, every time you cook in your vlogs, I just fucking love it. Would you ever do like a go-to recipes video? And I was like, yes, 
I would do that because I do have a lot of go-to recipes like just if I'm you know trying to make a base pasta for the night a big pot of it or maybe a sandwich or like what I make staples wise to keep around all the time. Rue, it's just me in the house. Anyways, feel free to always comment below what you would like to see. And I've just made all my tea. She's looking simply stunning, my darlings. So I'm gonna let these cool before I put the uh, lids on them and put them in my fridge, just because I don't want any of this glassware to shatter. Speaking of glassware, we actually just got these big old mason jars. Some half galloners from the old Buy Mart the other day because I love these jars so much. And we already get milk in these jars from our friend and neighbor Athena, but I don't own any of these jars and I always have to return her her jars and I'm always like, damn, these big ones would be so cool for storing snacks and other various things, making bulk product. That's just uh, what I've currently bought update. We bought these yesterday before we went to the river. Guys, I'm to the point of comfortability with you where I almost just sat down on the toilet and started vlogging. Like that was actually a thought that went through my head of being like, I could just pee while I'm vlogging. Everything would be fine about that, right? Anyways, I refrained, but um, guys, the day is finally here. We are cleaning out our barn. Oh my God, I know. I will say it's probably gonna be one of those projects that kind of like takes some days, you know? But at least we're starting today, listing stuff on Craigslist, getting rid of all of the old tools or stuff that broke that we never fixed, like old lawnmowers and weed whackers and tillers and freaking leaf blowers and all the shit. So we're just dragging all that stuff out to the yard right now. And then as we were doing that, I was like, wait, I gotta go get the vlog, I gotta tell them. I'm gonna tell them the big news because this has been a project if you guys have been watching my farm vlogs over time You know like this is something that's really been on my mind for a while and we've been putting it off pretty consistently So we just grabbed a bunch of stuff from the basement as well that we are wanting to list And I'll go show you what we have already out in the yard So this is an old window AC unit that used to be upstairs in our room and when Finley installed it this summer He plugged it in and it was like and then stopped completely like it made the weirdest noises and he was like well horrible news <laughs> it just broke but we did have two other AC units like standing units um, from living in LA so we just are using one of those now and we're gonna sell our other standing unit and then this is like a bocce ball set we got it from ace hardware and it's just not like a good quality set i mean it's in perfect condition and everything but just like how heavy the balls are it's just cheap you know what i mean so we were like whatever somebody might use this more than us the big man's bringing out the big tools is that a tiller too yeah this is like a small tiller this is like it's called a soil blender it's like less than a tiller but kind of does the same thing yeah and we have used this recently. The electrical fucked up on it, and then I like fixed it, but then the handle snapped off. And then the leaf blower and Somebody might want to try to fix this. Weed whacker. I'll put this up for free. And I showed you guys the state of our barn in full in that five acre farm tour video that I put up last month. But um it's pretty just like packed to the brim with shit. This green trailer. Yeah. The two lawnmowers. And the PVC, and that's like all I really want to get rid of. Exactly, the rest oh, of it is like super useful. That's all orange carpet right there, carpet tiles. Mm -hmm. I don't need those for anything anymore. Okay, so, so we could sell those too. Because yeah. the original plan for the carpet was to put it in the tiny house, but now we're not doing that anymore. So we're about an hour in and this is the state of what we've done so far. So there was this kind of large plastic tub over here. Hi Peach. She just finished breakfast so she's coming over to say hi. Hi. Um, there was a tub here and we took it out and so now there's a bunch of just like random dirt and other stuff compiled under there like dead hay and all this stuff so I might just like rake that out but um, the pig's food bins are over here and then this is all 
usable, good, sustainable lumber that we bought for, I think, the tiny house back in the day. It could have been another building project. It was either that or the greenhouse or some shit, but um, Finley moved it and tarped it. And we are slowly but surely clearing off this trailer so that we can kind of like just get it out of here because this literally takes up half of our barn space and we just stack shit on top of it. It was originally going to be a building project and then we never did anything with it, so that's why it's just laid to rest in here. Um, also, these tires were here when we moved along with all of these nuts and bolts in this bucket and shit. Um, and I think that this was somebody's old work table next to the old chicken coop. All this PVC we're going to list for some future builder to come and get from us. This is like the cider press stuff that we'll probably use for another season this fall. But this PVC, when we list it, we're gonna be like, you have to take all of it because <laughs> there's so much of it. And then these windows, I don't know, we might list that as well as like building material stuff. This right here is scrap metal and all these lawn mowers as well. Over here, the scrap metal and all of that together is kind of a package deal. And um, our neighbor, Steve, we sent him photos and he was like, funny enough, I'm interested in taking the mowers off your hands and I'm going to be making a scrap metal run already on Tuesday so I can come by and pick up all that stuff. So he's gonna come and get that um, next week. It is currently Thursday. This motorcycle has been a project for our friend Adam because Finley's motorcycle died and it's just kind of like been a working project. But what we did do is um, put all of the wood that was covering all the way from here to here on the ground into areas like that that. But anyways, we just have to move all of these building materials that have found their way out here into the basement, but Finley went in to grab some food, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of an update of where we're at. Look at all these tomato gates from past years when we've grown like hundreds of tomatoes. It's just so crazy. We don't have that many this year, but that's okay with me. Sometimes I don't know what to do with all of our tomatoes. And then the rest of this over here on the shelves is pretty much old building materials, uh, chicken wiring for, you know, future fencing that I've never actually fenced, and then um, all of this kind of car oil change supply stuff, as well as just various pallets, random pieces of cut wood, pig's old water reservoir, and some other scrap metal in here, which we'll have to have Steve take, but we need to um, clear out a path for us to bring, you know, the mowers out, everything, but we think that we have to move the truck first because the truck is parked in the area where it would probably be most convenient for us to drag it all out for Steve to pick up. But right now I'm gonna take this big old stack out of here of all of these buckets that we've used for mushroom growing in the past for oysters to fruit out of these. Um, it was successful, but we just haven't used them in a really long time and haven't been as into mycology as past years. So I'm gonna grab all of these buckets and just move them and then try to figure out what to do with all this crap in here too. Set up this little tripod makeshift stake sprinkler. There's just a sprinkler on a stake. Finley duct taped it to an old tripod and we ran the hose from the pump house <laughs> for the girls, but they're still eating. They're not really, they don't even really know what's going on. Hey, come out and play in the hose. In the sprinkler, I mean. Actually, don't play with the hose. They're expensive. But you can come play in the sprinkler. She's excited. She sees it. First impression of the sprinkler. You like it? It is nice hitting you, just cooling you off when you need it. But don't knock over the tripod, okay? Then it won't be as good. They're like, whatever, where's the food? Yeah, it's just like when it rains, mullet woman. Yeah, you got a good mullet. You got a good mullet coming in. <laughs> this is the current state of the barn. Cleaned out the, um, well, this is going back in. well, yeah, all of this stuff is going back in as trailers and reservoirs and all that kind of stuff. We don't know where the top of our old water reservoir for the pigs went, but Rue, do you want to show them what's going on over here? This is all the stuff that's going to uh, the scrap yard as well as Steve, and it's looking real good. Looking real good in this nice, convenient pile. And then this is a dead battery that we have to donate to Best Buy because Best Buy takes like old tech stuff and 
batteries and all that kind of stuff. This is a bunch of carpet, the orange carpet Finley was talking about earlier that we're going to list. These and that are old things that we used to use for the pigs. We used to feed them on that. And then when they got bigger, they started cracking them. And we were like, we just need to get them like just a feeding mat so that they don't ruin these trash can lids. It's both of them are cracked. So honestly, this is just like recyclable plastic now, just who knows. And then this is an old reservoir that we had for them as well. And then all of these also need to be hosed down and then recycled or taken care of. Larry, do you like laying in the middle of the gravel? He likes to sun himself. He's just my little California man. Adding to the pile, Steve's gonna come over and be like, what the? <laughs> all this for me? Peach has been wanting to hang out with us all day. Ducky can't hear us, so she's unbothered, but Peach has been like coming and hanging out by the fence all day. <laughs> Finley just asked her if she wanted a little back scratch. She actually loves it. Look at her little mohawk. You always know she's enjoying a scratch when she gets her hair standing up on her back. Do you like to be scratched with a little hoe? We are making some real fucking progress loves. Um, I have the old greenhouse plastic here and here. And we're going to try to just like list it. Honestly, I don't care if we get money for it. I'm just kind of like really hurting if this just goes to a landfill it's still in pretty good condition it just needs to be hosed off you know but like perfectly good for somebody's greenhouse if they're trying to start one uh hit me up if you want it <laughs> in the comments of this video um but yeah the rest of the stuff on here is just garden tools extra hoses tomato gates we got the two trailers and a full moon oh my god all right peach do you want to show them the finished well, day of <laughs> project. Okay, so y'all saw it before. This is it after. This goes to like an oil barrel that we currently have on our back porch. So I'm leaving the lid over there. All of their food bins are staying over there. We're, um, we took photos of this trailer so that we can list it and sell it, but we're not gonna take it out obviously until somebody wants to buy it because it takes up so much fucking space. This uh, sunflower seed bag has trash in it, just like little bits of things that we picked up off of the ground in here because there was a ton and it was already trash when we moved in and you know, hence the rotting out <laughs> ceiling in here. A lot of stuff falls down and little pieces of plastic float around and oh just so much this is all half usable half maybe not usable wood and building materials but there's nothing on the lower shelves here so we just decided to kind of lean everything here we also decided that for another day we're going to go through our garden tools because we have so fucking many like we do not need this many garden tools oh my god um but other than that Finley is going to keep his motorcycle kind of closer, just tucked away over there. We brought both of the trailers back here, pushed them back. We have so much space now, it's insane. And I know that like once we open up this side, we're, our minds are just gonna be blown once we get rid of that trailer. That is a pile of burnable cardboard and wood scrap from everywhere in here. And then we also have this that we can burn too, but we can't burn until it starts to be rainy season again. Uh, you can't have big fires during fire season, obviously. Be safe, brothers. And then we took photos of the PVC pipe and everything to list. We're gonna keep the cider stuff back there. We just piled back all of these pallets in our old greenhouse framing in here for now. And we're keeping the farm buckets out here because it's kind of nice sometimes to be able to haul stuff using that. And also having the big water reservoir, tomato gates, you know, everything else I was just showing you is still here. <laughs> More old hoses and all that kind of good stuff. But um, this is our first day of doing this and it's currently like 6 p.m. and we've been out here since about 1. I had a wedding planner phone call today for a potential planner and um, that was at 12 and we went until a little bit after 1 and then after I was done with that I was eating a bagel and Finley was like we should really tackle some of the like 
clean out process today and I was like brother I thought you would never say this <laughs> let's get into it so I'm super happy and then while we were cleaning Finley was like what day is it and I said it's the 15th and he was like I think our bouldering gym is having like a barbecue like a social from seven to nine with free food and beer and just good times and I was like that sounds good to me so we're gonna be going to that honestly I'm probably just gonna wear this when we go. I don't know if we'll climb, probably not. I'm pretty hungry, so who knows? I'm also still injured and need to take it sleazy, you know? But I'm excited to do that. We'll probably bring you along with me, who knows? Who knows about anything anymore? Are you really proud of us? Yeah. I'm so proud of us, I can't believe that we really did it. <laughs> hey there, ho there, y'all. It's the next day and I'm still wearing the same braids. <laughs> I have changed though, so that's great. I'm wearing a lovely little sundress. Um, anyways, anyways, you can see all of that. But what you didn't see was us actually going to our climbing gym last night. It's just not the time yet. I'm not ready to climb. We didn't go to the barbecue. It just wasn't our moment yet to share that with the vlog. But maybe sometime soon I can show you how jacked like Hulk Hogan I'm gonna get. It's my favorite thing to say right now. I'm gonna be ripped like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> anyways, it's Friday. I'm finally finishing the edits on this vlog because I've been continuing this kind of week in my life since Monday and this is already an hour-long video so no one's shocked at all I literally have not uploaded a video under 20 minutes in so long so thanks for watching my long ass videos I really appreciate it um, we are currently listing a bunch of stuff that we cleaned out of the barn in the basement on Craigslist today so Finley's busy doing that I took some photos I came back up here and I've been editing ever since and also compiling more wedding planner potential people. I don't think that was the correct way to say that. Potential wedding planners I've been compiling a list of today and I had another call this morning with somebody. It's just that planners are so freaking expensive and so I'm really trying to find somebody who's like not only just worth the money but that I actually click with because people who you really need to like on your wedding day are your planner, your photographer, and obviously your like wedding party and stuff like that. But you don't have to like connect with your band, you know? They're just gonna be performing. It's not like you're gonna be talking to them the whole time. But your planner, you're really gonna have to talk to a lot. So I'm just trying to find people that like I actually mesh with and also who aren't out of my price range. <laughs> so that's been my main wedding thing. Our wedding is in 11 months. So I'm trying to dwindle down vendors, planners, options, all the stuff. I actually uploaded a wedding planning sesh video this week to my Patreon page, so if you're interested, it's over here. I was just session and talking about the state of the union, you know? Like, this is the current state of where we're at, this is what we still have to get done, this is what we have already done. I've already found my dress, which you guys saw in the last vlog. You didn't see the dress, obviously, but I did find the one. Um, I was back and forth between two for a really long time, but then my heart wanted one of them. I will keep you guys updated on all of the wedding stuff because I know that you enjoy hearing about it, but it'll probably just be like sprinkled into my regular content that happens all the time. So I hope you're down for that. Again, feel free to comment down below what you want to see from me other than vlogs because right now I'm in a vlogging spirit because I know you guys love it and I love doing the farm content and all that stuff. But again, if there's a particular series that you miss from me or a particular video or something that you really want to see, please feel free to comment your ideas down below. I'm always looking for ways to make you happy, brothers. Okay, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't know, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash Megan Hughes. I also have a Patreon page if you want to go and support me over there for some extra content I upload weekly. I think that's it. I hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Stay smiling. Bye, y'all.